This is the Friendly Articulated Slug. I originally designed it as a Christmas gift, and have since had the privilege of seeing it bring joy to many, many people all over the world. Although at first it seemed like a fairly straightforward idea, it ended up being a very interesting and challenging creation to design. From the start, I knew that the slug would be made of segments, and I could tell that each segment would have to be a section of a sphere. That way, it would stay tight against the segments around it as it moved. Therefore, the chief question I needed to answer was, how are these segments going to hold together? I also had a few other criteria that helped guide my thinking as I worked to invent the joints. In particular, I had four main goals. Firstly, the slug's shape needed to be as smooth and realistic as possible. Secondly, it needed to be as flexible as possible, able to touch its nose to its toes, uh, so to speak. Thirdly, since I was going to be 3D printing it, I figured I'd try to make it able to print in place, meaning that the segments are already interlocked and assembled as they are being printed. And lastly, I wanted the connections to always be covered and invisible, no matter which way the slug was moved. All those requirements made the joints ticklish to design, trying to keep them sturdy and printable while interlocked, but still loose enough to be free and fully flexible straight off of the printer. Once that was done, I had the problem of how to actually construct the segments with all their different sizes and proportions while keeping them as smooth and compact as possible. Eventually, I figured out a system of circles that would show me how to arrange the segments within a given outline while keeping them as tightly packed and flowing as possible. After that, it was just a matter of actually modeling the segments, one by one. While they are very similar, their dimensions and angles are all slightly different, so there was very little copying. Each one had to be modeled individually. But it was all worth it when I got to see the very first slug come off my printer, working beautifully well. On top of that, knowing that so many people are also enjoying this creation truly makes it all worthwhile. So, if you enjoy seeing creations like this, then subscribe to the Copperkeep YouTube channel, or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you or someone you know would like to have one of these slugs, and help to support the creation of more of my designs, then visit copperkeep.com to purchase one. Or, if you have a 3D printer, you can find the slug available on thingiverse.com or printables.com for you to print for yourself. All links are in the description below. Enjoy, and the Lord be with you. You. Please accept this lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs> lamb chop? How, wait, is this like a really small lamb chop? There's like carrots and potatoes with it too. Mm. Okay, thank you.